The Dot by Peter H. Reynolds. The Dot. Art class was over, but Vashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. She looked a little angry. Vashti's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah, a polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. Very funny, said Vashti. I just can't draw. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark, see where it takes you. Vashti grabbed a marker and gave the paper a good strong jab and said, there. Her teacher picked up the paper and studied it carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper toward Vashti and quietly said, now sign it. Vashti thought for a moment. Well, maybe I can't draw, but I can sign my name. The next week, when Vashti walked into the art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was the little dot. She had drawn her dot, all framed in swirling gold. Hmm, I can't make a better dot than that. She opened up her never before used set of watercolors and she set to work. Vashti painted and painted a yellow dot, a green dot, a red dot, a blue dot. The blue mixed with the red. She discovered that she could make a purple dot. Vashti kept experimenting lots and lots of little dots in many colors. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vashti splashed her colors with a bigger brush on bigger paper to make bigger dots. Vashti even made a dot by not painting a dot. See how she went around? You could also do that in this project. At school, at the school art show, a few weeks later, Vashti's many dots made quite a splash. Kind of looks like our art show. Vashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You're a really great artist. I wish that I could draw, he said. I bet you can, said Vashti. Me? No, not me. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. He's doubting himself just like she did. Vashti smiled. She handed the boy a blank piece of paper. Show me. The boy's pencil shook as he made his line. Vashti stared at the boy's squiggle and then she said, please sign it. the end. What did she do for that little boy and what did the teacher do for her? Sometimes you guys think that you can't do something but it's just like anything else. If you try and just try your best at something you might just surprise yourself and sometimes other people see it in you and you can't see it yourself. Okay, your supplies are actually going to vary on this, so you might want to wait to get supplies, but I just kind of want to show you what I am using because I'm going to give you a lot of different options on how to make your dots. So you will most likely need paper. Computer paper is fine. I am going to do one with a coffee filter. You might need to go ask an adult, and that might be something that you don't have. Not everybody will, and that's okay. So mostly paper or these coffee filters for what we're going to draw on. And hey, you can do both. You can also use crayons 
We will use some markers today and you might need a water cup and your Q-tips or a brush. So you could make a dot by just making a lot of little tie-dyed circles and you could do one of these that fills up your entire paper. So you could just keep going until your whole paper is filled. But to make that tie-dye, you just use lots of colors and you go and you make that messy back and forth circle that kind of looks like a puff ball. And then you just use another color and look, it touches the one I just made. And this one goes all the way around and you can turn your paper, that actually might help. And these don't have to be perfect circles. Everyone's is going to be different. But look, I have two right there and I'm just going to keep going until I fill in that area. I'm just gonna keep switching colors and it's okay if they end up touching, you just stop. But my suggestion would be to make a few little circles and then keep going around until we fill in our entire paper. So first grade, you kind of did this with your cat in the hat. Third grade, we had just started a project um, where you guys were doing kind of some tie-dye work. So I know you guys, you two grades, actually have done a little bit of this. But keep going until you fill in your paper. Now I'm only going to do half of this because I want to give you a few more examples of dots you can make. And this one is just kind of a fun one where we are just kind of using some supplies we have and just trying some different things out. So not everybody is going to end up with the same results, okay? until you filled up your entire paper. You could have as many starter dots as you want on your paper. You could even have done it with just one and gone around and around and around until your whole paper was filled. But this is just one example of how you can make dot art. Okay, now this can be done on a piece of paper or with a coffee filter if this was something that you had in your house. Uh, if you are using a coffee filter, you probably want to put a piece of paper underneath because this is really thin and your marker will go straight through. All right, so like I just said, you're going to need some markers. Now, this is one of those where you probably don't want your black and you probably don't want your brown and the gray, take that guy out too. So right now I just have my primary and my secondary colors and my pink and that is okay. If you have some other off colors, like teal or something like that, that's totally cool too. So with this one, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but this is another way to kind of tie dye. You would come in and just draw right on this coffee filter with markers and you want to try to do patterns. Now if I was you, I would kind of go through and do my light colors and then the dark colors. But I'm just going to go through and I'm going to make the same kind of pattern all the way across, just in a circle. We're going for symmetrical. When something is symmetrical, it's balanced. It's almost like that artwork you did with the folding or the reflections. So then we're going to come through and I want you to do something with each color and make these really colorful. And it's okay if you accidentally um, draw over another color. That's why I had you do the light stuff first. All right, so continue making these really colorful, color in the whole thing. And something that's really important is you are using lines and designs, not coloring in solid, okay? So use straight lines, wavy lines, curved lines, jagged lines. We've talked a lot about line. So you guys should be able to do that. You can also use shapes. So curly shapes or hearts, triangles, circles, even happy faces work fine. So go ahead, do something to decorate. And again, this can be on a coffee filter or a piece of paper because we're going to do kind of the same thing once we get going, okay? Okay, 
So once you have your patterned coffee filter, what you're going to do, and this one only works with the coffee filter, not the paper, but you can take this and spray it with a squirt bottle if you have one. I actually didn't. So I just grabbed a little cookie sheet and added a little bit of water and I'm going to drop it in the water and then move it over to these paper towels. All right, so if you look, it will make the marker run just a little bit and you can kind of see it in my pan. I just set it in that water, picked it up pretty quickly and sat it down on this paper towel. And now I will leave it here to dry and it kind of makes a tie-dyed dot. This is where your water cup and a brush or q-tip comes in and this one you just kind of go along and kind of paint and at the end you will let this dry and you will cut out a circle to see what your dot will look like but you want to paint one color at a time so I started with my orange then I might go over my yellow and it's okay if they blend a little bit you're kind of going for something a little bit crazy we're just kind of trying out some things. I go one color at a time to give a little bit of time to dry and you might need to do one of these. Okay, I'm gonna do my hearts next. But you just keep going and it's okay if they kind of bleed a little bit like and mix. That'll be okay. Lots of ways to make the dot.